guys welcome back to my channel so today is just a project share um, kind of packing up what I made for a pink Christmas group swap uh, this was hosted by Sandy she is Sandy's planner shop and crafts I think that's it on YouTube and she just said basically said that the collection had to have pink in it but you can use any Christmas collection and it was to make two like embellishment books actually following one of my tutorials so I was like I had to go watch my video again um, but super easy to make. It required a couple things. So it required that pink in the Christmas, um, a hanging element on the spine, a seven inch candy cane, um, one shaker embellishment, two paper clips, one surprise, and 10 die cuts or um, ephemera. So I used the new Frank Garcia Candy Cane Lane collection. And now that I'm seeing these pieces right here. I do want to further embellish my book, but like I said, I love doing videos like this and then I watch back in the video and I see stuff that's missing like in my eyes. <laughs> like, oh girl, go add something right there. I will link the tutorial down below that I used. Um, again, it was my own tutorial. This is the little book. Um, I went with that Frank Garcia collection, the Candy Cane Lane collection, but I, if you hear a little grumbling in the background, it's my two-year-old. She took like a five hour nap and she ain't going to bed anytime soon. So she's in here watching me. I went with like a gingerbread theme and I used the new KS Craft gingerbread like word dies. Same with the ornament set. One of the ornaments, as you can see, like the little hanging piece right here is actually gingerbread. So I did that and cut it out in like white glitter. These little handmade flowers are made by my friend Lori, who's creating for fun. I just went ahead and added a bunch of, um, what is this stuff? Wink of Stella. It's like a gl clear glittery. And I added it to the cheeks of the gingerbread, all the flowers, and then I did glue, Barely Arts glue, and the uh, glitter glass and sprinkled it on there. And it just looks, oh, it's just so pretty. And then a bow. I'm pretty sure those are from Allie. Or actually, these are from Hobby Lobby. This little candy cane is from Hobby Lobby. It has a little charm, but I chopped that part off. Uh, my friend Lori also gifted me these little banner bunting things from the Coco and Reno die set. And you guys, I added faux snow. Uh, to the bottoms and then once that dried wink of Stella but you guys I I won't use any other um, snow now so this is the uh, the deco art brand and it's the snow writer you don't have to do um it says dries in two to three hours it dr it dries in like 10 minutes maybe that maybe less I didn't you just you write with it it comes out it's kind of like has like a gritty sandpaper texture and you just shape it where you want it. You don't have to get a heat embossing gun, nothing. Not, I absolutely love it. You don't have to get a stick, nothing. So I just kind of, you know, painted it on where it was to make it look like snow. Added some snowflakes. This snowflake actually glows in the dark. My friend um, Jonna gifted me like pink and like these minty color blue ones. So pretty. And then on the side, part of my dangle, these are from Allie. They're like uh, brads, but they're, they're very big, but I did order just some smaller version looking ones. I had a little bell. These like vintage bells are from AliExpress as well. This little hat is from Rhoda. It was one of her Christmas sets and a little tassel that I'm sure somebody gifted me some handmade ones. I did some gold stitching and zigzag around the edge. And then on the, the tie part, I did some red seam binding and then some white like tinsely like scrub daddy material. On the back, I added a gold applique these are from aliexpress as well and then my little craft purge symbol on the back and then you just like puff up the stuff when you're when you're laying it down so we had to make a seven inch candy cane so basically you get your wire like you know that garden wire from the uh, dollar tree or your happy jig so i just got seven inches did what she said curl a little hole at the bottom um these beads were gifted to me it's like a little snowman and then i just did some of the like bubblegum beads and spacers from my collection, add a little heart glass bead, crackle beads. It was fun, like finally getting to use all these big chunky beads. These little bows were gifted to me and then I added these cute little gingerbread, white gingerbread charms and these little, um, I know, they're right here actually. Jingle bells are from Allie as well. They're like a very textured, almost like a tin foil. And I think that looks so cute. And I'm just gonna tie it on with seam binding just like Sandy did to keep it in place. Cane right there. And then we had to include two paper clips. So I have a bunch of paper clips in my stash because I used to like collect them when I first started. <laughs> 
happy mailing. I don't know why. Uh, but I have these gold stars, a little bell from Michael's, Gingerbread Alley, Alley from The Charm. And I'm just going to pop it on here. Look how cute. Little gingerbread guy. And then these guys, these little flat back cabochons, just glued it on these big paper clips. I don't even know where I got these. Probably Tuesday morning when they had stuff. And that's going to go right here. And I figured a pink Santa because, you know, we're working with a pink collection. And on the inside, I did that faux snow all around the edges as well. Uh, right here, I used some vellum that I just hauled from the Scrapbook Stamp Expo. It's got, like, little shimmery flakes. And then same with my... What is this? These little Velcros. Those are from AliExpress as well. And then I made a gorgeous little sequin mix last week um, on my Instagram I showed. It is so cute. It's got all the pinks, reds, candy canes, and gingerbread in there. And that's just going to slide in right here. And then I was going to tape this on. These spoons are from AliExpress. Um, they're from Andy store. They're, it's like a gold spoon and it came with like a little Christmas charm. So all the Christmas charms are a little bit different. But I want to put it like somewhere up. Uh, but this sticks up too much. You know what? I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to try to tape this down like right here to keep it, keep it in there. But that's what it's going to basically do. So this is my gift. Uh, or not my gift. My surprise. So it's a sequin mix and a little spoon. Scooper. And then right here on this, this is actually a, a oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to tape that because that's not going to stay. Right here in between is actually a pocket. So we had to do uh, 10 die cuts or like I said, ephemera. Did the KS Craft candy cane. Look at how cute these presents cut out. These are from the Stamp and Scrap Expo. They just had like random clearance dies for like $3, I think. Look how cute! And I cut it out in that fancy, like, hollow pink paper. A uh, little Christmas tree has stitching around it. These are from Andy's store. Gingerbread from KS Craft. This is from Andy's store. It's actually a shaker, but I just cut out the snowflake because it's stitched and gorgeous and just gave the negative space as well. And then some gingerbread words. It says um, sugar and spice in white glitter and oh snap in pink. Those guys. Um, this is from KS Craft. It's like a three-piece set. Um, I picked the medium size. This is from Alley. Just a cute Christmas tree. I did cut it out in the papers. And a new KS Craft present this year. Super cute. And then put that on top. I wonder if I should add some type of string to this like little hole. These bags are from Alley. I'm like, I gotta use it all. Everything I've been hauling, I am using it up in this swap. Oh, fits like a glove. Like right here, should I probably add something right here? I'll probably go through and add stickers or a uh, sequin, something to just snazzy it up a bit. And then on this back page, we had to make a shaker or embellishment. So I made this cute little, I was trying to like stick with the gingerbread theme. I made a little gingerbread house. This shaker is from last year from KS Craft. I did these little, uh, polymer clay bits and like Christmassy colors to match the collection. The little doorknob is a um, uh, gingerbread guy. So cute. These little snowflakes are from Allie. Everything's from Allie. <laughs> I should be like a AliExpress ambassador. <laughs> Pay me. Uh, these guys, these are from AliExpress as well. They are just like little sticky, oh, sticky things that I use to keep my embellishments on. I mean, you could use hot glue, and I'm going to stick it down right, right here, like it's a house. Cute. Um, I wonder if... Bag of tricks. I don't have all my Christmas stuff out. Definitely don't have this stuff out. Okay. No, it just, like, brightens up the... I should do another one down here. Even though there's already snowflake right there. Okay. That's cute, right? Like snowflakes and then like that little snowflake on the house. So that goes perfect. And there, I hope my partners, you know, like it. Make two, receive two. And of course I made one for the hostess. And I'm going to somehow add these sentiments somewhere. Oh, it's already open. Um, but that's everything. There is definitely a lot of AliExpress 
Look at these little stars. I could glue those on. Yes. Real quick, I was like, you know what? I'll just do a video. Um, I actually packaged them up and I was I was gonna just stick them in a CeeLo bag and then I realized, you know what, let's make them a little bit cuter. I use these uh, Daiso Japan bags. I actually had three just enough to to wrap these. And then I finally used that Dollar Tree candy cane like wire stuff to keep it tied. And then the Daiso bag came with this pink ribbon. So I was like, eh, let's just use it instead of like throwing it out. And then the bows, these were gifted to me um, in the Christmas group swap last year. One of them had a snowman, so I ripped it off and just did a gingerbread. And then these ones were wrapped in red twine. So I just made them coordinating with the inside, as, which is like um, just gingerbread theme. And then at the end of these, I just, because they are a wire, I just put um, little jingle bells at the bottom. So they make noise. And then these were gifted to me as well. These are actually like little glitter foam things. So I just did this. Um, so Swap, who's hosted by, and then Tony. This is Sandy's Planner Shop and Crafts uh, Swap, if I haven't mentioned that. I don't remember if I did or not. But yeah, just a cute little little package. All right, that is everything, and I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye, guys.